This is today's video challenge. I've got a pot here with a bay tree in it. We love this tree. It's about four or five years old. It's a pretty big pot and it's got a lot of soil in there. And once we water it, it's somewhere between 80 and 100 pounds. You can move it like this a little bit, but you really can't get it in and out of the house the way we like to do it. So typically we have one or two people and we kind of lug it in the door and it's always kind of iffy whether we're going to drop the thing, break the pot, whatever it is. So we came up with this thing, which is a pretty heavy duty trolley. And I'll go into more detail in a little bit on that. But there's another part to this challenge that's really the crux that we need to take care of. And it's over there. It's the step to the door that goes inside. Again, we've almost tripped a whole bunch of times. You can't slide it in and out. But I think I've got a ramp idea that's going to work in combination with the trolley that's just going to rock this whole solution. Here we go. I'll show you what I came up with. Here's the trolley that I got. At Lidl, I'll try to find a comparable trolley and post it down below that you might be able to find. It takes 550 pounds, 250 kilograms. It's kind of a rock solid deal. A couple things I had to change on it though. It had an unfinished seam here, so I took some boiled linseed oil and just put a nice little coating on there. Originally I started out with these kind of flimsy, flexible tray because of the holes in the pot. It was sliding around, not so good. So I've come up with even a better solution. The only problem is with this tray, this handle gets taken out. Can't you really use it or you have to bend down and grab it and it's kind of awkward, especially going in and out on the ramp that I'm gonna show you later. So I came up with this system. It's 550 pound paracord. I'll show it to you. I drilled two holes, one here, one here. Those lines were to show me where the handle is. Ran the paracord through there to a piece of PEX pipe. And on both sides, I drilled another hole through here. This is just a piece of hose to make it a little softer and bigger to hold on to. And just a double stopper knot right there on either side, concealed inside the pipe. So that worked out pretty good. And then I have this one here, actually runs with a little extra paracord in case I want to make it longer. And I'll post up here what the dimensions of this lanyard is. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill some holes in here to keep this from moving around. I'm gonna do that with some number eight pan head Phillips screws, three quarter inch deep. So I've got the drill, I'm gonna drill these holes. I always take a drill bit that's slightly smaller so you see the little ridges in there. So you'll get some grip on the screw here, but it will make it easy to put the screw in there and you won't have any shredding or breaking of the wood material. I have a screwing drill and a regular drill bit drill. It just helps me move around and I'm lucky enough to have a couple drills. I'm testing all these different drills for another video, so it's just a matter of convenience. You can just drill, screw, drill, screw. It makes it a lot faster. Relatively inexpensive. I love this little thing here that you can just push to move the string around instead of just going round, around, around, and around to lock it off. So I'll post this down below where you can get one of these. Okay, all the screws are in place and it's probably not gonna leak. It's not like we leave a lot of water in here to begin with, but I'm just gonna put some hot glue over the top of these so I'm sure it's not gonna leak. I'm trying to keep the height down. I know there's a ridge in here where I'm gonna put this down and hopefully it's not gonna be an issue. So we'll let that dry and then we'll put the pot in place. We're gonna lift this on and put it on the tray. Here we go. Ready? Awesome! Works great. Fits perfectly. Fits perfectly, even by the critic. So now we've solved part of the challenge. There's no way in heck it's going to come off of this dolly. And we can move it around all summer long, fall, whatever it is, when it's outside on this dolly. So the final part of this challenge is a piece of plywood that I just happen to have around. It's 1532 inches thick, two feet by four feet long. And this is gonna make my ramp that I'm gonna to use to get inside, if everything works according to plan. So let's give it a shot. And 
this handle is really good for helping it go up the ramp. It works! Wouldn't be a whole lot of good if it didn't come out the same way it went in. So here we go. <laughs> I'm really surprised by this thing. In fact, you may not even need this handle anymore. This combination ramp and this new tray is just, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in concepts and inventions and innovations around the home, designs of all kinds, making and breaking stuff. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.